Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha. I'm a home daycare provider and a mommy to five. Um, on this channel, you're gonna find videos about daycare, which this video is about. Um, you're gonna find meal planning and grocery hauls and mom videos and sometimes some just little chit chat rant videos. Um, it's just kind of whatever I'm feeling that day. Um, so if you, if that sounds good to you, feel free to subscribe, just hit the little red button down below. Um, I post videos every Monday and Thursday, and sometimes you can get a little extra video on a Sunday, depending on how life is going. So today we're gonna talk about meal planning. We're just gonna get right into it. This is gonna be daycare meal planning. It's not gonna be meal planning for my family. They are two separate things although they do come together sometimes. So um, meal planning can be super overwhelming for me whenever I go to sit down and do my meal plan for daycare. I meal plan a month at a time, so I will send out my next month's meal plan at the end of the previous month. So like April 30th, I will send out May's meal plan. So around the 20th or so of each month, I need to start thinking about meal planning for the next month. Now, I know there are a ton of different ways to do this. Some people do cycle menus where they'll have a fall cycle, a spring cycle, summer cycle, winter cycle, and they will just have four menus and they just rotate. Um, I don't do that. I am... Maybe I will do that in the future, but I don't do that right now. I just plan a month at a time. I really like to see what my kiddos are liking, what they have been eating recently, how we're feeling about certain foods, and then I base my meal plan off of that. I also base my meal plan off of sale items. So let's just get right into it. Um, like I said, I meal plan a month at a time. So around the 20th, I sit down, I gather all of my tools and I begin my meal plan. So today I'm going to show you guys the tools that I use. I'm going to tell, if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes, <laughs> not a professional just yet, you guys. Um, so I'm going to gather all my tools. I'm going to show you what I'm using. Um, I'm actually using a new planner for my daycare foods, which I'm very excited to share with you guys. Um, and then we, I'm gonna just kind of give you some tips and tricks and um, tell you kind of how I go about my meal planning process. So let's get started. We're gonna gather our tools. Um, so I have a few tools that I always gather whenever I am starting my, um, my meal plan. So the first tool I grab is my Carrie L meal planner. This is new to me. I love this thing. This is like my new baby. She's so beautiful. Um, and I grab, this is where I put my own family's meal plans, but I also use this. Um, I use a section of this for daycare. Um, and that section is the inventory list. So I have gone through very vaguely my pantry and my freezer. I actually did it just now um, just to kind of see what I have on hand. And it's so funny. Hold on just a second. Okay, I wanted to show you guys. People tell me all the time, you're so organized. Like, how do you stay so organized? So I went to do my inventory and I looked at my little sheet that I wrote on and I was like, I have to share this because this is my brain on a piece of paper. So this is my inventory list. Um, yeah, so this is my brain. I'm not an organized, super organized person. This is my brain on a piece of paper. Um, so I had to share that. I thought it was so funny. Um, anyway, so I grabbed my Carrie L and they, she has these like freezer inventory pantry inventory, those sort of um, sheets in here. So I like to have this on hand so when I'm making my meal plans, I can make sure that I'm using what I have on hand. Um, that way I'm not spending extra money. Um, and then, so I have that on hand and then I grab my seasonal produce list. This is just something that I quickly made. I'm gonna kind of touch it up a little bit and I will link it in my Teachers Pay Teachers down below. It will be a freebie for you guys. It is nothing fancy by any stretch of the imagination, um, but it is very helpful for me. It just kind of looks like this. 
Um, and so you just have like your winter, your summer, your spring, your fall, and then below it, it just shows you what is in season. And the reason I have this on hand is because I like to provide my daycare kids as well as my own children with um, fresh produce um, as opposed to canned or frozen. Frozen, I'm sorry, I need to put my chair up because I feel like I'm very short. Um, <laughs> Frozen and canned are fine, and I do buy it. I'm not like a snob or anything, but as much as possible, I try to buy them fresh produce. So this really helps me know what is in season, and if it's in season, it's probably going to be on sale because there's a plethora of it. So I like to have this on hand. And the very last thing is my new baby, and I love it. Um, I recently purchased this planner. This is the Work Life Glue meal planner and I believe I got it in the, I think I got it in the watercolor. So if you don't know who Work Life Blue is, um, come on out from underneath your, the rock that you've been living under in the daycare world. No, I'm totally kidding. Um, Work Life Blue is another channel here on YouTube. Sarah is another daycare provider um, and she has kind of been my inspiration for my channel as well as my inspiration in daycare. She's really motivated me. I've been watching her for years, um, way, way, way back. Um, and I just absolutely love their channel. They came out with a great meal planner and let me, okay. Story time here, guys. Um, I have been working on a lot of stuff for my Teachers Pay Teachers, um, and I was working on a daycare meal planner. So when I saw or when I saw the video and heard that she was coming out with the meal planner, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was a little bit bummed. Um, and I was, and you'll hear this in another video later this week because I did speak about this, but I was a little envious. I had a little jealous heart here. And I was like, oh, like I've been working on mine and now she's gonna put hers out and it's gonna, and it was like all like childish, like middle school thinking in my head. Um, but I love her and I love their channel and I knew that the meal planner was gonna be great. So I went ahead and purchased it. I believe it was $20. If it's, I don't, I cannot give you the exact price, but just randomly at like 5.30 in the morning one day, I purchased it. And um, I'm gonna link it down below for you guys so you guys can go to their Podia, I think it's called Podia, Podia, something like that, it's a store, um, and purchase it if you are looking for a meal planner. But I went and purchased it um, almost with like a, well, I hope this isn't good so that when I bring mine out, it's gonna be really good, which is terrible. That's a terrible thing to say and I'm a terrible person for that. But it was phenomenal. She did a great, great job. Um, I love it and I have like scrapped my meal planner and just said, forget it. She's already done the groundwork. She's already put in the effort um, and I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel. She's done a great job. This is gonna be awesome for daycare providers. And um, I went ahead and purchased it and that is what I'm using. So um, it is a printable planner, so you're not gonna get a physical planner in hand. You can choose to either use it on your computer by editing. Um, so what I did for one of the sheets, I don't know if it's allowed, but I did. Um, I turned it into a JPEG and for the food program cheat sheet, I turned it into a JPEG, you guys will see that. And I put it in PowerPoint and then I use text to edit certain things or to add in certain things um, and then printed it and laminated it. So um, it's made to be printed, but you can also um, use like your PDF editor, I believe, and just like add in your text, I think. If I'm lying, I'm sorry. So anyways, I printed mine and I put mine in my binder. Um, I just cover this up. This is my daycare name. Oh, and you can see part of my logo there. You can probably see my daycare name too. But it just says meal planner and food program. This is where I keep my meal plans and all of the information for my food program. Um, and by that, I mean like my kids' enrollment sheets, any um, pertinent information that they have sent me goes in here. My little food program notebook goes in here with all the info in it. So that's what I put. And then I found these um, little divider things online. I'm really bad at this, guys. I'm trying to figure out how like the planner girls do like an overhead view. If you guys know how they do that, tell me. Um, please tell me, because I want to purchase whatever they have to do that. 
Um, I think it's probably a certain tripod or a way that they set up their tripod or something, but I'm not that fancy just yet. You guys are currently sitting on my planner organization thing, so if you guys know how they do that, please let me know. Anyway, so I found these dividers online. I believe they were free. If I can find them again, I will link them down below. And I just made my own tabs for them uh, in PowerPoint and then I laminated them and hole punched them and put them in. So it just kind of, that's how it is. So I'm gonna go to April. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go to May, um, cause it's May now. And this is my pretty little May tab. If you can't tell, I love floral. Um, so yeah, everything's floral. So this is what the planner looks like. I have not filled it out just yet cause I'm just doing all this. Um, it looks like this. And so basically above, uh, or each, each month has a different color, um, like a little watercolor background, which is beautiful. And then it gives you um, the full month in it, like a full month glance, and it has the little boxes so you can put the date. And then up top is a really cool feature. Um, it says breakfast, lunches, suppers, and snacks. And that is for the food program. So you can tally up how many breakfasts, how many lunches, how many snacks, or suppers if you're open at that point that you have served and that will make it very easy for you um, to know how much reimbursement you're getting back from the food program. Um, so that is awesome. Um, that is the main part of the planner, kind of the bulk of the planner. And then in the back um, of my notebook, I have printed out the other sheets so I can show you guys. Um, I don't use all of these. Um, I really, yeah, I don't use all of these, but. My binder's falling apart, you guys. Um, but I do use some of them and I wanted to show you. So my binder has decided that it's, you know, gonna fall apart on me here, so my bad, whatever. We're, gonna, we're just gonna work with it, guys. So um, one of the pages that she has looks like this. It just says um, lunch entree favorites. So it kind of goes through, you can write down your favorites, which I really like because there's been times when my daycare kids have like, there's been something that I've served and I'm like, there's no way they're gonna eat it, but I'm gonna serve it anyway. And they have like wolfed it down and it's been their favorite and they've asked for more. So it's good to have these pages just to be able to scribble them down real quick um, for those glorious times when they actually eat what you make. Um, and then in, sorry, I don't have this part organized guys. And then she also has these pages that are like, breakfast to try, dinners to try, I mean lunches to try, snacks to try, um, which I really like because there's times when I'm scrolling through Instagram or um, through Facebook or whatever and I'm seeing these great meals and then I totally forget about them and we're having the same garbage that we've been having, not garbage, but you know, junk that we've been having. Um, so I really like that you can kind of write down things to try. Um, and then she also has, um, sections where you can do your um, like stuff that you enjoy like your sorry the lighting's really bad your favorites uh, by protein by type of meal things like that which I really like um, and then we're gonna I'm gonna like skip along here to my favorite part not here this isn't my favorite but I still really like it um, she has a section for grocery list favorite or grocery list staples. I have like a list that I always buy lots of milk, lots of this, lots of that. So this is nice to have just to have a quick list. Like this is what I always get at the grocery store. And then on the other side, it says no prep meals in a pinch. And I love that because there are times when I fail to pick up things at the grocery store and I am struggling to figure out what I'm going to make these poor kids when we're supposed to be having quesadillas and I don't have any tortillas or cheese in my house. So <laughs> that is really good to have just a quick list of things in, you know, on or written down that I can refer back to and say, okay, great. We don't have stuff for quesadillas, but I know that I have stuff for turkey sandwiches or whatever it may be. Um, and then I have not used this. I don't have any like restrictions or whatever, but I thought this would be really good for the infants, my infants are doing solid food, so it would be nice to be able to track what they like and don't like. Um, so it's just the likes and dislikes and then like restrictions if you have food allergies or anything like that. So I really like that. Now, we're gonna get to my favorite part. This was 
um, just something that I was like, yes, that is, I need that in my life. So I was constantly referring back to my food program, um, little like, I don't know, the thing that they give you, the book that they give you to reference back to as far as like what I'm supposed to be serving. Um, and Sarah like put it all together in one sheet, which I thought was awesome. So this is the sheet. This is the edited sheet. Let me just, ref let me just let you guys know. This is not the original sheet. Um, the, all the blue that you see down here is my own editing for my own brain. Um, but basically she has put this, um, she's separated it by ages because when you're on the food program there's a certain amount of food that you have to serve to each child and like you have to have a certain amount of veggies a certain amount of fruits certain amount of grains certain amount of whatever um so she's laid that out and then on the side here she's put breakfast lunch and supper and then snack so what i did was i made this a jpeg and i put it in powerpoint and i created a text box and I copied her um, color by using the little eyedropper to grab the color um, to change my font so that, or to change my text so it matched. Um, and I just went through my food program book and I put each of the regulations under each um, section. So um, I, instead of handwriting it, I just went in and filled it out in PowerPoint. So like infants need six to eight ounces of milk at breakfast and zero to four tablespoons of grains. So I, you know, wrote a text box and wrote that in there. So this is a really great resource. If for no other reason to get the planner, get this, um, get like, get it for this because it's really awesome to refer back to it. I have a copy on my refrigerator. I have a copy in that binder and I just love to have it available to me. So those are all the tools that I gather whenever I am going to meal plan. Now, I usually, let me just tell you, kind of go into how I think about what I'm going to make them. So I shop sales every single time. Um, if they're like, for instance, Kroger had ground beef, um, a dollar, he like marked all the ground beef, $1.99 for the big um, like five pound pack. So I bought tons and tons of ground beef. So right now I have 22 pounds of ground beef in my um, freezer, in my deep freeze. Um, I also will shop on Sunday mornings at Kroger. My particular Kroger puts a ton of stuff on clearance on Sunday mornings. And it, a lot of it is not because it's expired. A lot of it is because the can is dented or the box is torn or whatever. I don't care about any of that. All my stuff comes out of boxes. They get put in bins. If you've seen my pantry organization, you know how it looks. Um, so I don't care about dented boxes or anything like that. So I try to shop sales. I try to stock up whenever things are on sale. Um, I also shop seasonally. So in the middle of winter, you're probably not gonna see me buying a watermelon <laughs> if they're even available at the store. I'm probably not gonna buy that. Um, just because the price is probably going to be astronomical and it just it doesn't make sense it's not seasonal and i'm going to be paying quite a bit more um for a piece of fruit when i could get twice or three times as much for the same price of a different type of fruit that is seasonal so um another tip would be to like be general in your meal planning like if you don't know that strawberries are going to be on sale the third week in your month don't put any sort don't don't like be specific just put fresh fruit and then whatever fresh fruit is on sale that week that's what you can buy you're not like off your menu plan or anything like that or your meal plan um and you know you have it you you have they know that you're serving fresh fruit <laughs> Um, but you don't have anything specified. It's just whatever's on sale that week. That makes it a lot easier. Um, when I meal plan, I have each week I have, or actually every week I have the same themes for every single day. So I serve three to four meals a day. And I say three to four because I was serving an AM snack every single day. Um, but majority of my kids are not getting here till eight. We eat lunch at 11.30, so there really wasn't a need for an AM snack. Um, if they're feeling super hungry, I will go ahead and give it to them. I don't like, uh, kids aren't going hungry here, um, but I don't, it's not essential that I give it to them. Um, so I serve breakfast, lunch, and a PM snack. 
Um, and basically I have a theme for both for both breakfast and lunch every single day, if that makes sense. So on Mondays, we always have muffins. Every single Monday, we will have muffins. It's not gonna be the same kind of muffin, but we have muffins. Um, and this is for breakfast. On Tuesday, we have eggs, some sort of eggs, hard boiled, scrambled, um, some sort of like uh, breakfast scramble, like with meat and cheese and potatoes and things like that. Um, fried eggs, whatever it may be, that's what we will have on Tuesdays. It's always going to be eggs. Um, on Wednesdays, we have cereal. That could be, I feel like I have a puppet here. Um, that could be cold cereal or hot cereal. Um, that is, you know, your Cheerios, oatmeal, grits, um, cream of wheat, which we don't really do. Um, that sort of stuff is always on Wednesdays. On Thursdays, I have bread. <laughs> um, that could be toast. That could be English muffins, bagels, um, anything like that. That is typically what I will do on Thursdays. And then Fridays, I just have, I call it cake day. Uh, we will have pancakes. We will have French toast. We will have waffles. We will have one of those like sweeter items um, that day. And then as far as lunches go, on Mondays, we always have pasta. Every single Monday, it's some sort of pasta dish. It could be baked penne, spaghetti, um, chicken parm, whatever it may be, we have that on that day. On Tuesdays, it's always Taco Tuesday, so I do some sort of um, Mexican-inspired dish on Tuesdays. On Wednesdays, we always have a meat and a veggie, <laughs> um, if that makes sense. So I'll do like chicken and chicken rice or, um, I don't typically do steak for them, but like it's usually like a baked chicken or a grilled chicken, a rice, and then a veggie. That's, I don't know how to explain that, but that's kind of what I do on Wednesdays. Um, Thursdays, we do some sort of sandwich or like homemade Lunchable. So they really like snack plates, and I got that idea from Sarah. Um, well, I've been doing snack, pl snack plates, but the term snack plate I didn't ever think of. I'm like, I don't know, I'm serving them cheese and crackers. It's like a Lunchable kind of thing. Um, so I do a snack plate. They'll have, you know, um, lunch meat and crackers and fruits and veggies and things like that um, on like finger foods on their plate that day. Um, or we'll do PB sandwiches, turkey sandwiches, grilled cheese and soup, um, grilled ham and cheese, etc., and so on. And then Fridays, we always have some form of pizza. It is not just pizza. Sometimes we'll have... Um, pizza pasta, sometimes we'll have like pepperoni chicken, um, sometimes we'll have actual pizza or we'll do bagel pizzas, English muffin pizzas, they'll make their own pizzas, it's going to be some form of pizza up in my house on Friday. So that is what happens. Snacks, I just rotate with what I have. Um, I have animal crackers, graham crackers, uh, goldfish, things like that I always buy at Costco or Sam's Club and I have those on hand for the month. And then I add a fresh fresh fruit or vegetable with those. So, and then they get water. Um, so that is how I kind of come up with things. The themes make it very easy for me to input all of my food um, or to come up with, with recipes or come up with things that they're gonna eat. Because I know when I'm planning my Tuesdays, I can go to Pinterest and do and type in tacos. And I know that any of those recipes will fit into my Tuesday. Um, Fridays, I can go look for uh, pizza variations on Pinterest, etc., and so on. So that makes it super easy to have a theme every single week. This is what I'm going to make. Now, this is getting to be a super long video, and I apologize. <laughs> um, so then I, once I have all that done, I have everything in my new work-life glue planner. I know what I have on hand. I have my grocery list made. Everything's good. I then input it into my calendar that I send out to my parents. And my calendar looks like this. Um, oops. It just looks like this. So I use some like cute little clip art. Um, majority of my clip art I get from Melon Heads from uh, Teachers Pay Teachers. It's about $5. Uh, usually for the clip art that I use, the monthly clip art, and I love it. Um, so I will just put that above and then I will uh, write out what I'm making. And then this, I print these front and back and they go out to the parents at the end of the month. The parents like it. I upload it to my website, give them a physical version of it. And then every single day I take a picture of every single meal that they eat and I post it on Bright Wheels so the parents can see. So 
that is kind of how I meal plan. We're gonna go into like what they ate this past week. And in that part of the video, you're going to see the cost breakdown. So because I am part of the food program, I do get reimbursed for foods and I do get a certain amount. I'm part of the tier one or I'm part of tier one, which is the highest reimbursement rate. And so I do get a large chunk of money every single month um, for food reimbursement. And my goal is to stay under that. Um, and I do a pretty good job by staying organized, shopping sales, um, stocking up on things, um, shopping seasonally, and having a plan for my meals. So we're gonna go into that video. Um, about what they had this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys kind of kept up with my crazy brain. Um, and I hope I was able to give you some good information about meal planning. I will see you guys again on Thursday for another video. Thursday's video is gonna be a chit chat, get ready with me, talk about life, answer a few questions, etc., and so on. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.